All right, today we're going to be taking a look at NECA's blind bag, sci-fi and horror. This is the first blind bag I've ever bought. Um, I have no idea what to really expect from these. I've seen a few videos of people opening these, so I figured, hey, let me try my hand and see if I can score something nice. All right, let's get into it. And zip the bag open. Oh, that was easy. There we go. Let's see what we got first. What is this? Mad Balls Foam Series. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm, Mad Balls. I've never actually heard of this line of balls. Slobulus. Oculus Orbis, Screamin' Meanie, Hornhead, Bust or Dust Brain, Skull Face, Lock Lips, Freaky, Fullback, and Swine Sucker. Oh, okay. So, kind of reminds me of Boglins, I think. These are very Boglin like. Oh, that's some good detail. Look at that. Look at that. It's real nice and squishy, too. You can get a real. I don't know if I'd let my dog get a hold of this because he'd probably destroy it. But this is a pretty good sculpt. I like the paint on it. They did an excellent job with this. <laughs> I mean, I you don't even almost don't even want to play with this. It's so well done. And this is a a footballer. Let's see if we can match up the name. Let's see if we can get that in there focused. Hmm. Oh, this must be Freaky Fullback. Okay. So this is Freaky Fullback. Nice. All right, so let us see what else we have. Whoa, Galaxy Quest, holy smokes. This is a loot crate item. Wow, Galaxy Quest, that takes you back, doesn't it? Was it 1999? Loot crate exclusive, cool. Whoa, this document certifies this document certifies this prop replica of Galaxy Quest emblem patch was created by Quantum Mechanics Incorporated under license from Paramount Pictures exclusively for light loot crate. Well, thank you, loot crate. This is pretty cool. Just an iron on. I'm sure I'll find some place to put that on, maybe a book bag. But that's really neat. I do like the Galaxy Quest movie. And I will definitely be putting this on something. I don't know what, but I will. All right, let's move it along. Let's see what else we got in here. Whoa! Godzilla! Holy smoke, this is pretty cool. I, you know, growing up, I was never like the biggest Godzilla fan. I think I grew up mostly underneath the um, Roland Emmerich era of Godzilla, so not the best. But I definitely have seen the recent films, and I do like what they've done with the character in recent times. Um, so this is definitely cool. Let's get it open. Let's see, there's a little sticker tab. Let me see if I can open that up. All right, there we go. So just to kind of go over the box, these are some more of the figures in the series. Really good art. Kind of very familiar, or similar, I should say, to... Like a comic panel, how they have the printing. Very sharp. You guys can a hold of the barcode. And this is not a toy, so just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, let's get it open. And it is a rip tab. So I can't reseal it, which is fine. And then of course for security purposes. Alright, let's see what I got. Kind of reminds me of like a high or a high end Cracker Jack box with, with no treats. All right, is there a rip tab here? Um, yes, here we are. All right, let's see what we got. Oh man, I think this is Burning Godzilla. Look at that. It's pretty sharp. Spiky, the spines on the back, and pretty good detail. 
Oh, licensed by Toho, of course, because who else? Got articulation in the neck. He kind of looks like he just wants a sandwich. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> this is pretty cool. So all in all, I would say this is a pretty sweet blind bag. You get your Boglin-esque ball with extreme detail, really good there. This Galaxy Quest um, emblem, which isn't just an iron-on, is pretty sweet. And then, of course, your Toho mini chibi-style Godzilla, who looks like he just wants a snack. But overall, I think that is a pretty good blind bag. I definitely will be picking up some more of these. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I buy more of these blind bags? Um, I, I definitely think I will because you get such cool things for just 10 bucks. You can't really beat that. Um, definitely, please like this video. Give me a comment below. And if you're interested in this type of content, definitely subscribe. See you guys on the next one.